Cooper is out of a job, and now there's questions about the criminal cases he's worked on across the state. All of this coming after an investigation by his own police force. News 8's Emily Kinzer is here, breaking down everything we know so far. Good morning. Yeah, ladies, good morning. Matthew Simmons served as a sergeant on the state police cybercrime division. He was fired on September 4th. Now, here's a picture of Simmons and documents we've obtained from his firing, and they raise questions about his truthfulness. State police say Simmons admitted to an inappropriate relationship with a 14-year-old girl who had been a victim of child molestation. Police also say Simmons lied repeatedly during an internal affairs investigation. We've also gotten a copy of a letter state police sent to prosecutors around the state. It says that Simmons' firing included concerns about his truthfulness. That could call into question any criminal cases that he's been involved with. His reliability and his truthfulness could possibly impeach him as a witness. Well, obviously, the cases that are current um, are going to be called into question uh, almost immediately. Prosecutors and defense attorneys will have to go through any current cases that involve Simmons. The attorney general's office and defense attorneys would handle any convictions where Simmons served as a witness or an investigator. Right now, it's too early to know, though, if any of those cases could be affected by the state police's decision. Now, we've reached out to every prosecutor in Simmons District. So far, we've heard back from Jennings County. That prosecutor said there's no open cases that involve Simmons, but they couldn't tell us about any closed cases. Franklin County's prosecutor says there's no cases involving Simmons. Of course, this is something that's going to be developing, and we'll keep you updated on anything new. Okay, Emily, thank you. Police